Now I'm working with the flow coming from the approach piping to the manifold header and that's the classic typical example in the paper industry as you already know the flow enter that side exit to from the other side we call it one sided tapered manifold header the manifold has distributor tubes these tubes has lumber inlet diameter exit diameter and so on uh, well you know it is a source of either good part or bad part and it is subject to calculation the pressure drop through that system is very crucial also the design of that system is very crucial the number of the holes the inlet diameter and the exit diameter and what we call the acceleration ratio how much you accelerate that flow from here to there there are design criteria from uh, the standpoint again of fiber buildup or cleanliness of the tube and I'm going to explain, you know, what I mean by acceleration ratio, it has to be examined. Knowing the area here, the area here, and the area of the tubes, one has to define the acceleration ratio of the, these tubes. When you look at these kind of uh, system, there are always, the industry is plagued with basis weight variation, moisture uniformity, vari non-uniformity variation, and so on. Where they are coming from? This is a source of problems along with other also area which I'm going to examine in the next video or so, the rectifier rolls and other matters. So when you really look to the distribution performance of the manifold header as far as the tubes, you end up with something like that where hopefully that there is a flat profile, but it's hardly unlikely, you know, that there's nothing called flat. You know, it's hills and valleys and so on. When you look to this uh, non-uniformity, I call it E total means that the, the non-uniformity coming from what? E1 plus E2 plus E3. E1, if you have different hole sizes, for example, of these tubes, you end up with non-uniformity definitely over here. Well, you know, you said, well, it's hardly unlikely. Well, it happened, you know, several times during the detailed analysis is just imperfection of the design you just one has to go to the details e2 is the pressure drop through these tubes if the tubes have a fiber buildup inside these tubes or at, at the inlet and so on you end up with different pressure drops different non-uniformities out here and e3 is very very important i don't want to again to go to too much uh, details in the calculation but it is based on the acceleration ratio and the pressure drop through the tubes. Acceleration ratio, what does this mean? I wanted to accelerate that flow from here to there. If I don't, then fiber buildup are going to take, take part, place inside at the inlet of the tubes. And here is an interesting explanation, you know, using, you know, very simple laws of physics. Let us say I have two cases here, two cases. One, the velocity is low like this, and one, the velocity is high like that, between the velocity in the tubes and the velocity in the manifold. Well, velocity is a vector. You know, I put, you know, two vectors over here. U is the velocity in the manifold and V in the tubes. Here is the angle, theta, you know, the vector. Well, in a case like that, you end up with a big eddy out here. Eddy dissipates energy. Fibers are going to flocculate and build up inside these tubes and, and, and eventually can be uh, plugged up. It doesn't even have to plug, pl uh, plug up, just a build up at the inlet of the tubes, change the whole profile. Here is another case, of course, that's the ideal case. You have high acceleration, smaller uh, theta, is the flux size. Scientists were able to find out if that uh, eddy is smaller than the flux size, the flux will be disrupted or even uh, destroyed. So th that's, you know, the ideal case. But how far can we go? <laughs> if you increase the velocity in the tubes, you end up again with streams and uh, at the wire, and then you end up with basis weight and moisture variability. So there are design criteria in that area has to be examined. And papyrus takes care of that. 
based again on the information which you supply to papyrus according to the checklist which is uh, uh, asked you to fill it up uh, you know you just have to go to the website and uh, go to the procedure and so on you know here is another uh, case which is of course you are familiar with that about the balance of the manifold and if you have the research line uh, more close you end up with a profile like that gross profile and vice versa, you know, the balance between potential energy and kinetic energy.